Learning English. Prepositions of time. Hello everyone and welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's video, we will be diving into the fascinating world of prepositions, specifically focusing on prepositions of time. Understanding how to use prepositions correctly is crucial for effective communication in English, so let's get started. Prepositions of time are words that help us express when something happened or will happen. They provide important information about the timing or duration of an event. These prepositions play a vital role in constructing accurate and meaningful sentences. Let's take a look at some common prepositions of time and how to use them correctly. In. We use in to refer to a general time period, such as months, years, seasons, or parts of the day. For example, I will visit my grandparents in July, or she enjoys reading in the evening. On, on, is used when specifying particular days or dates. For instance, we have a meeting on Monday, or his birthday is on the 10th of June. At, we use at to indicate specific points in time including clock times or specific moments. For example, let's meet at 3 o'clock, or, she arrived at the party just in time. Now that we have a good understanding of the basic prepositions of time, let's explore some common expressions where these prepositions are frequently used. Mastering these expressions will enhance your fluency and accuracy in English. In the morning, afternoon, evening. This expression is used to specify a particular part of the day. For example, I like to exercise in the morning. On the weekend, weekdays. Use this expression to refer to specific days of the week. For instance, they go hiking on the weekends. At the moment, present. At the moment, is used to talk about what is happening right now. For example, I'm busy at the moment. Can I call you back? To solidify our understanding of prepositions of time, let's examine how they are used in real-life situations. Practicing these examples will help you gain confidence in using prepositions accurately. She will meet her friends in two hours. The concert is on Friday evening. We have an important meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Congratulations! You have successfully completed our lesson on prepositions of time. By now, you should feel more comfortable using prepositions to discuss time-related events. Keep practicing and incorporating these prepositions into your everyday English conversations. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been helpful to you. See you next time!